Good afternoon, everyone. We wish to adopt the protocol that has already been established. Please focus your attention to the screen. Are you familiar with this scene? Hiruna shuttle system, our solution to traffic congestion, making commuting easier. We are currently experiencing an increase in traffic congestion on the mornings and afternoons. This is most commonly seen in the windward side of the country. Even walking great distances from Kingston to Arnisville just to get public transport, which was initially designed to cater to our transport needs. The government sector that we are targeting is the Ministry of Transport and Works. The market that we are targeting is public commuters and minibus operators. The shuttle services are more comfortable and with stops customized to riders' needs, the shuttle relieve congestion on roads and in parking lots. Can this idea be implemented successfully? Yes, this idea can, can successfully be implemented since there is already an omnibus association in operation. There will be the need for cooperation amongst all minibus operators and the government. Significant planning will also be needed, be needed to guide daily operations. Procedures necessary for the impl implementation of the innovative idea. For the implementation of this idea, the collaboration of different areas are necessary. There would be the need for the establishment of an act where all omnibuses must be registered under one organization as well as reformation of the omnibus association. Architectural planning would need to be done for the construction of bus stations and roads. Technological devices would be utilized at the stations and in the buses and a group of technicians would be employed for the maintenance of such devices. The public and everyone being affected by this idea would then need to be made aware of its functioning. So how would it work, one might ask. There would be the construction of two terminals the main terminal in Kingston, operating service to Annesville, and a secondary terminal in Annesville, which would operate service back to Kingston and buses to specific destinations. Persons using the shuttle service must obtain a specified adult, child, or visitor travel card, which they would be able to top up at the bus terminals. The buses would be specified by a number denoting their various routes. On entering the bus, the commuter would swipe the card to enter to allow a passenger count to be performed and on leaving, press a button to indicate a passenger has left. Okay, how does the government benefit, one may ask? Traffic fines will be imposed if vans are caught operating off routes. In order to operate within the organization, minibus operators will be required to have up-to-date license. It will also boost tourism. The shuttle system will prevent disparities in fares. Tourists will feel more comfortable traveling within St. Vincent. Features. How is it viable? There will be superior organization. <laughs> Reduction of traffic congestion. Increased returns on investment because it will be self-sustainable. Shopping centers will be placed within the bus terminals. What are the pros? It prevents passenger overload. The card reader will be programmed to only accept the number of passengers the bus is licensed to carry. It maintains order in bus terminals. It also will create employment in St. Vincent. Eliminates controversies relating to bus fares also reduce traffic congestion within the city. People get to the destination faster. Secure system for payment of bus fares. 
promotes the modernization of transport in the capital. Buses are coded so would reduce customer pileup. But other cons, initially, it will be costly and put pressure on private taxi owners. With our limitations, getting, pub getting the public to cooperate will take time. And also, it will take time to initiate. Issue of current land space will also be a problem in terms of where to place the bus terminals. And the conclusion, the Ministry of Transport and Works is, an, is after an overlooked government sector in St. Vincent and Wendings. Establishing this idea not only benefits St. Vincent and public, but also the transportation sector along with improvements in tourism. We thank you.